That's Ronnie Whelan. Ready? Referee unimpressed by the fall in the penalty area. Kaczynski. Ilias. Nikolov. They like to play it from the back. And there's Mick McCarthy tidying up behind Kevin Bourne. Gary are playing three up front. Panov, Skrenov, and Sivakov. Stapledon, Nikolov away. Free kick's been given to Bulgaria. Panov. Stapledon. There's a heavy late knock from right back Nikolov. Bulgaria ball. Nikolov, Sadkov, Tanev, fouled by Paul McGrath. Dimitrov, penalty area that's going to count. Free kick down to Bulgaria. And interesting again that Dimitrov, the sweeper, has not gone forward. He sent Ilya, the big centre back. He's just the widest man there on the left of your picture. Kolev is the taker. So, 10 minutes to the break. And despite all their early flourish, the Bulgarians really haven't threatened Paddy Bonner's goal. And this was, well, very high. Good concentration by the Irish midfield. Not just the conventional midfield. Everybody's done a turn there and closing down the Bulgarians. Very good display. Everybody's done their share of work. It's Paul McGrath. Strength and skill. Combined then, here's Brady. Galvin. Whelan. Anderson. Whelan again. Unlucky. McCarthy. McGrath. more frustration with the referee getting in his way than anything else then. And quite a deal must be excused too in the conditions. Good looking ball. See, Rakov was making a run. Ilyev. Yemitrov. Kolev. Kazinski. Ronnie Whelan stayed back goal side of him. There's John Anderson stretching to that. This is Kolev again with Brady arriving. Good play, Kolev. Good ball inside. Tanev was trying to make contact and couldn't do it. 
Danger then for Ireland. Nice piece of play by Kolev. The run was by Tennant. Jack Charlton's ninth game as manager for Ireland and his away record, three wins, one draw and only one defeat. And that defeat was not in a competitive game to Poland last, late last year. Dimitrov. Aldridge, Whelan. Morn to Brady. Galvin. Looking for Aldridge, but again the pace. Killing the striker's chance of getting contact. Liam Brady. Playing for his third time here on this ground in Sofia. No Irishman has ever played three times in the Bulgarian Cup. again looks for Sirakov two eyes there more than the party play on Sirakov chance here Sirakov <laughs> Bulgarian crowd on its feet The ball played up between Sirakov and the two Irish defenders. And when the foul came in and the referee said, play on, the advantage truly was that. The ball played across by Sirakov and taken under control. And it looked like Sadkov putting it away for Bulgaria, 1-0. Five minutes from half time. Now, this changes the whole complexion of the evening. kick for Frank Stapleton in Ireland an Irish team that must be stunned by that reverse Brady and Whelan at the ball forward of them Moran, Stapleton, Galvin McCarthy but imposing the bodies 
between the ball and the player good work by the Bulgarian defence so those away draws now in Glasgow and Brussels added to this lead coming up to half time and Bulgaria must fancy the chances against anybody at this moment that's Kevin Moran's header Nicola Sirak off again Iskrenov couldn't make it, McCarthy did. Hewton. Dimitro. Galvan. High challenge by Simeonov. Stapleton. Galvan again. Galvan, free kick, fouled by Simeonov. Brady, Stapleton, Galvan has just ran a little too hard on him. Now McCarthy, Stapleton, McGraw, couldn't swing a leg, Galvan does just wide. Good effort, Tony Galvin. And Liam Brady encourages the Spurs man with a nice little solo round of applause, almost bending it past Mikhailov's left hand post. It was close. Brady. Oh! And Stephen. Making the foul on Nikola. And attention for the Bulgarian right back. Now professional with Antwerp in Belgium, 29 years old. And tonight is 43rd international for Bulgaria. The magic spray. One goal Nicola has scored in this 43 internationals, 42 and a bit. There's the clock showing that we've gone into time added on. Three is checked. Both his linesman and his own timepiece. Off Kevin Moore and Ted John Anderson to tidy it up. And that's about it. The first half is over. Very good fighting performance by the Irish for just over 40 minutes. I notice as they come in, by the way, that Kevin Moran is limping. Now, he went in very dodgy into this match with the right foot. He's limping indeed pretty badly as he comes off the field. One goal, four minutes from the break, scored on the break by Sirakov and put in the net by Sadkov. And at halftime in Sofia, it's Bulgaria 1, Republic of Ireland 0. <laughs> McCarthy. McCarthy should have got that ball and the Bulgarian has thrown his left leg across him there. Now, I don't know, I don't think I would have given a free kick actually. I think McCarthy should have got to the pitch of the ball a lot quicker than he did. Yeah, it, it still, it, it was, it could have went either way. It has been since early yesterday evening, it's raining still. Call out for Bulgaria. Nikolov with the throw. Simeonov, McGrath, Ilyev to skipper Dimitrov. Varoslav Mikhailov. Mm -hmm. 
missed by Moore, taken by Sirakov. Chris Hutton's challenge. Nikolov to throw again for Bulgaria. Clearly not agreeing with that. Jack Charlton, top of your picture. Well, he's finally got use for the cap. On this terrible evening in the capital of Bulgaria. Tanev. Nikolov. And Morin limped as he kicked that ball on that very sore right foot of his. The instep that he uh, got a knock on. A little over the top challenge last Saturday week. Medlanov there, the coach of Bulgaria. 47 times he's been in, in charge of the Bulgarian national team. Hutton. Lick on. Nice one it was by Stefan. Always just couldn't avail of it. Liam Brady. Now here's Aldridge. Looks for the support. He's got the support. Mikhailov is down the post. And Ronnie Whelan almost in for Ireland. Tony Galvin is swinging across. Aldridge getting in the header again. John Aldridge looking for his first goal for Ireland. And twice, three times, they were so close. Clearly Ireland's best attack of the match. Aldridge made the cross. That was Whelan coming in. Mikhailov got it out. Stapleton had a try, and with the foot, Pat Jennings style, Mikhailov stopped it again. And when it came back the third time from Galvin's cross, it was John Aldridge who headed it just behind. Very positive opening to the second half by Ireland. They obviously got quite a G up in the dressing room at halftime. This is a very positive start indeed. Though there's got to be some warning bells around now because Morn is certainly limping. McCarthy in very hard on Sirakov. Here's Whelan. McCarthy. Two very good saves by last year's Bulgarian footballer of the year, Mikhailov. Two good stops. The first one, perhaps he might have held or knocked away more clearly than he did, but he merely pounded it in the path of Stapleton and then perhaps was lucky to get a right foot to Stapleton's effort. Nonetheless, they all count. Kolev with Paul McGrath. Well won by McGrath. John Anderson. Bezinski. Galvin. Brady, back to Whelan. The swim off. Simeon off to Nicola. Liam Brady, giving himself that foot of space to McCarthy. And kicking away the possession. Five minutes gone, second half. Bulgaria won, Ireland nil. Rakoff with McCarthy. Both countries unbeaten going into this game. And of course Ireland would be quite happy to go out of the game with a similar statistic. Here's Brady. 
Stapleton rising up. Beaten in the air by Dimitrov. Dimitrov's header again. In went McGrath. That was Stapleton. And the crowd is stunned in Sofia. Frank Stapleton. Well, Joy knows no bounds for the Irish now. And the sound effects, I think, of the stadium would probably tell a lie. Because there's hardly a sound. It's certainly very there's a mute on the trumpet in Sofia now. 1-1. One, one. Knocked in again. Dimitrov with the second header out. Paul McGrath with the vital touch to keep a badly positioned. It's 1-1. One, one. Good goal by Stapleton. And a fine piece of work by Paul McGrath to be in at the heart of the movement. No more than Ireland have deserved. Played so well in the first half and have started so well in the second. Well, the two central defenders are taking no prisoners in there, as they say. And here's the chance for Bulgaria to snatch back the goal and the lead. The man most dangerous from these situations is number seven, Kole. And that's how they spell Stapleton in Bulgarian. There he is, number seven, Kole. There's his club football with Lokomotiv Plovdiv. Just 22 years old. One of the best dead ball specialists in Bulgarian football. Getting it around the wall. Very cleanly held by Paki Bona. Referee spotting the foul by Iliev on Stapleton. Visibility becoming rather difficult down, Sophie, as the rain increases in its density. Look at that for a downpour. Liam Brady, Iliev's header. Ronnie Whelan, goal kick. Well, what a start to the second half by the Republic of Ireland. For 40 minutes of this game, they played so well, containing the Bulgarians in the midfield. So many people doing so much work over and above the call of duty. And then conceding that goal was a signal, really, at coming up to half time. But the positive beginning to the second half has truly deserved what they have at the moment, equality. Sadkov for Bulgaria, Stapleton for Ireland, the goal scorer. Dimitrov. Stadkov. Dimitrov again. Nikolov has to come back for it. This is Iliev, six foot three centre back. Kevin Moran trying to stretch to that. the challenge of John Anderson <laughs> between Anderson, McCarthy and Moore there's been some heavy stuff handed out there free kick to Bulgaria and it's Kolev again on it he just wait for Iliev, the big centre back to get forward he's done that now late run by Sirakov Tanev takes up his position near post. Sirokov on the penalty spot. Kolev, goal kick. Five minutes left to play or 10 minutes of the second half gone depending on whether you're an optimist or a pessimist Paul McGrath getting in the toe cap again when it comes Ronnie Whelan what an evening Ronnie Whelan has put in tremendous work rate 
all along the right hand side of the field. Liam Whaley, or Liam uh, Brady battling for that, but uh, the foul on Sadkoff. Number seven here is Kolev. Stop with by Whelan again. It seems to be just everywhere along the right hand side for Alan. Stapleton forcing Dimitrov to play it back. Kolev's header. Kevin Mourns. Frank Stapleton. Ronnie Whelan waiting for Anderson to make a right back for him. What a poor header again by Dimitrov. In went Galvan. And that's two occasions that the skipper of Bulgaria from Saint Etienne is. Inconclusive headers have caused problems. One brought on the goal, and that one very nearly gave Ireland the lead. Well, his manager won't be too happy, and I don't necessarily mean the Bulgarian, because his manager of San Etienne is here watching the game. That was Mick McCarthy's header. This is Frank Stapleton. Frank thinks it's a corner, and Frank is right. So they've assembled as many as they can afford in the penalty area. Brady back for Whelan. Back to Brady. Estrenov. John Anderson. Dazinski. McGrath. Dazinski again. Here's Stapleton. Galvin. Whelan, Aldridge, pulled just away, too wide for him. Sirakov, and the ground is becoming pretty near unplayable now. The ball certainly not taking any run at all, and everything has to be forced. Here's Galvin, with Ilya. Thirty-one minutes left in the match. Well, Jack Charlton has been on record as saying that he wanted two points from the two-way games in Scotland and Bulgaria. And having got two straight out of Hampden Park, he reckoned this was a bonus game. Well, it's looking at the moment like a bonus. Here's Liam Brady's free kick. Mick McCarthy up there. Here's McGrath. Brady. Well, one again by... Frank Stapleton has been so toiling so hard in there. Liam Brady. Play on. Bulgarians waiting for a whistle that didn't come. Three of them stood up. Anderson. Whelan. Aldridge with Nikolov. And it's the Irishman is deemed to have fouled first. Mick Byrne with Dave Langan, Bob Driscoll, Mick Kennedy. Kellum O'Hanlon, chewing gum. Dazinski. Well, the kick of a tired man. Perhaps a slightly frustrated one. Frank Stapleton. Leading by example as the Irish skipper this evening. Here's Simeonov. McCarthy, the support player is John Anderson. Away goes Stapleton again, and Aldridge is pulled wide on the left. And Stapleton just couldn't feed him. It's Dimitrov who stops it. What a terrific performance by Frank Stapleton in his... 56 international in his 20th time to captain Ireland this evening. Brady. Whelan. Keeper didn't know whether to go or stay. And at the end, 
he made a 50-50 decision. John Aldridge was close. How close? We shall see presently. McCarthy. And the couple of hundred Irish fans now making themselves felt. In a song that seems to be the anthem of, of boxing and football and whatever, they've made a change. Number 15 coming in is Peter Alexander.